ladies and gentlemen, here in uh, Petersburg, Virginia. Uh, the morning of our first uh, first day of the hike. Stayed here last night at the Angels Rest Hostel. Got in about midnight. Didn't really get to see it last night, but here it is. It's actually just a mobile home. It's pretty comfortable. Shuttle van, outside bunkhouse. No, pretty decent. But yeah, we're going to get about an hour and a half shuttle ride this morning down to Troutdale. And we have about eight days to hike ourselves back here. So yeah, we'll, uh, I guess we'll see you later on farther down the line. Here we are, Dickey Gap. Left off here two years ago, and we're going to pick back up and go 115 miles north. This will be uh, my longest adventure yet. Been looking forward to it for a long time. Yeah, here we go. All right, we're about four miles into our first day. We just got here to Trimpy Shelter. Just gonna take a quick little break, re up on some water, and relax for a minute before we continue the rest of our day. Lots of good camping around the shelter. Creek right down the hill. Nice little spot. It's only about a tenth off the trail. Just getting down here to the south fork of the Holston River. Found this old uh, cabin foundation here, old cellar. Pretty neat. Bunch of spring flowers popping up on the hillside behind it. All right, still on day one. Uh, we're about 11 and a half-ish miles into the day. We've actually already gone past our original campsite. Or campsite. Uh, decided to keep on pushing. It's still kind of early. We both still felt pretty good. So uh, another hiker told us about a really nice spot down here in the bottom by a river. So we're going to go look for that. I think it's about another two, two and a half miles, something like that. Yeah, so we're gonna head on down the mountain and look for the river and hasn't really been a lot to see today, so haven't really been filming a whole lot, but been a nice day all in all. So yeah, I guess we'll see you down at the river. Alright, so we finally got to camp tonight, went an extra three miles on the recommendation on a, of another hiker. Uh, we found the spot he was talking about and I'm glad we did. It's pretty nice. Got the tent pitched right next to the creek. Nice flat spot. I like it. This is pretty nice. No wind. Very nice spot. So we got about another 13 to do tomorrow into Atkins. And yeah, it's supposed to be beautiful tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. Awesome camping spot. We're about a mile south of the partnership shelter. Morning of day number two. Pretty damp night last night. Everything got pretty condensated. Pretty dry inside the tent though. 13 to do today, and we got a hotel room and some Mexican food waiting for us. 
Right now though, it's coffee and biscuits and gravy time. Alright, we're about a, a mile into morning number two, day number two. Um, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. We got a nice late start today because we knew we didn't have too far to go. But uh, we're here at the famous Partnership Shelter. It's got a shower and you can actually order pizza from the town of Marion. They'll bring it here, or out to the road anyway. Let's check it out. No alcohol. Give me a break. Very nice shelter. It's actually got a shower. The only shelter on the AT with a with a shower. Got probably the nicest outhouse I've ever seen. You got a snake coming right up out of the ground, getting his head warm. It's pretty wild. Coming down from the summit of Glade Mountain. Looking down towards Marion and Atkins. It's our first real view of the hike so far. Man, what an absolutely perfect day. It's about as good as it gets. Our second snake of the day. Little garter snake out basking in the sun. It's a good day for basking in the sun. Got to the Linda Mood School, circa 1894. From what I understand, there is trail magic inside, so let's check it out. Alright, inside the Linda Mood School, we still got all the old desks, wood stove, lesson plan. But even cooler. There's a vast amount of trail magic sitting here. Fruit, snacks, uh, first aid, kitchen stuff, water. Oh man, fresh cooler full of sodas. Not a big soda guy, but I'm definitely gonna put one down. And there's summer sausage and everything else in there. Very, very cool. Trail magic provided by the West End United Methodist Church. Wytheville, Virginia. Thank you guys very much. God bless you. I just got here to Route 11. This is outside the town of Atkins. And we have reached our destination for today. The Relax Inn. I'm definitely going to do some relaxing. Showering. Go to the Mexican joint up the street and get some food. It's been a it's been an awesome day. Weather's been outstanding. It's been in the low 70s all day. Beautiful sunshine. Doesn't get much better. Alright, morning of day three. Just getting this gear explosion packed up. Just had breakfast at the barn. It's pretty good. 
Getting ready to hike out. Head towards a not mall branch shelter. It's supposed to be a rainy day. So hopefully we'll stay dry. Now leaving the town of Atkins. Nice little hiker stop. Now it's time to head back into the hills after we cross under Interstate 81 here. Got about uh, 15 and a half miles today to the Not Mall Branch Shelter where we're gonna wait out the storms that we're supposed to have tonight. All right, well we just got to the top of this climb at Tilson Gap and lo and behold, quarter way point of the Appalachian Trail. Whew. Yesterday, at some point, I actually crossed my quarter way point sectioning the trail, but for through hikers going northbound, this would be the quarter way point of the trail. Quite a milestone. Walking through the rain. Gotta love it. Oh man. Rainy day. It's been raining and raining and raining. Found this shelter here alongside uh I'm not sure what road this is yet. I haven't looked it up yet. Somewhere near Bland. And uh, I'm actually pretty close to the shelter for today. I've been been jetting down the trail today. I haven't stopped. Just trying to get out of this rain as soon as possible. But yeah, I found this uh, little picnic pavilion here by the uh, Ruritan Club of uh, Sirius, Virginia. And uh, man, this place is in the perfect spot because... Uh, only so much soaking a man can take. Truth be told, it hasn't been that bad. This is my first of all the miles I've done, a quarter of the trail. This is the first day I've ever had to hike in serious rain. It hasn't been as bad as I thought it would be, to be honest with you. Not really very demoralizing at all. Just after about a half an hour or so of it, you get used to it. Yeah, uh, since I've been booking it, I haven't had a chance to stop and drink or have a snack or anything so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now just relax for a few minutes before I carry on the last little bit to the shelter Whew. yeah glorious day out here all right finally here to the not mall shelter oh what a day uh, it's been raining probably 80 percent of the day last mile or so before I got to the shelter here was pouring rain but I got here went down the hill filled up with water came in the shelter here stripped down got all my wet clothes off got them hanging up there and here I am got my dry clothes on in my sleeping bag Nice and dry and warm. Getting ready to make some coffee and some food. I haven't really stopped for any kind of real snack or any real break today. Did uh, about 15, a little over 15 from uh, the Relax Inn in Atkins this morning. Got here just before 4 o'clock, so it was 15 miles and 6 hours. Not too bad. Well, yeah, we're gonna stay dry under this roof. We're gonna make some hot food, some hot coffee. We're gonna relax the rest of the evening. It's supposed to rain even harder tonight. So I'm glad to have a roof over my head. Praise the Lord for that. All right, day number four. It's gonna be a lot better than yesterday. 
Slept good here at the Knot Mall Branch Shelter. 17 to do today. We're going to sit up on a sunny bald and dry out. All right, just came uh, up and over Lynn Camp Mountain. First, uh, first climb of the day. I'm about three miles or so in, but we got down here to the Lynn Creek Camp. And uh, it's a nice little creek. Let's check it out. Man, I keep kicking myself for not bringing a fishing rod. It's a good time of year for the trout to be biting. Very nice creek. Water's real high right now. Had a lot of rain the past couple days. But today is sunny and beautiful. It's supposed to be about 70 degrees today. No rain. Thank God I had enough rain yesterday to last me a lifetime. But yeah, we're gonna stop here, water up, maybe have a little snack because we got a 2,000 climb, 2,000 foot climb in front of us, up to the top of Chestnut Knob, up to the Bald, where we'll take another break and let some of our stuff dry out in the sun. But man, this is a if you're coming through here, Lynn Creek Camp is a great spot. This is a long, hard climb. All right, getting close to the top of the climb here up to Chestnut Knob. The climb has eased up a little bit since we've gotten to the ridge top, but we came to this great spot. Great view. Well, I'm sure the view will be better once we get to the top, but a little pond here. Which is really cool. You don't often see ponds this high elevation. A spring fed pond. I've made up my mind that I'm definitely going to start bringing a fishing pole when I come out. The fishing in this pond is probably ridiculous. I could see some trout right now. I brought a pole, we could have a trout lunch. Anyways, not much farther up to the top of Chestnut Knob. Still walking across Chestnut Ridge, almost to the top, but I just wanted to look back and show Mount Rogers there. I don't know if you can pick it up on a camera. It's the farthest farthest tall peak straight back there tallest peak in Virginia uh, 5700 and some change uh, I hiked over that uh, about two years ago and uh, all that to the left of it is the Grayson Highlands Had a good lunch. Feeling better, feeling re-energized. Uh, here's the closest shelter itself. Enclosed stone ranger's cabin. And here's the awesome view down on Burke's Garden. Spot. I'd love to have a house down there. Amazing. Burke's Garden is its own valley surrounded all the way around by mountains. There's one road in, one road out. Sounds like my kind of place. Yeah, we're gonna relax here a little bit longer and then the rest of the day should be relatively easy.
Just got here to camp at the Davis Farm campsite. Just finished up a 17 and a half uh, mile day, which matches my personal best. Though I have to say this 17 and a half was uh, much more difficult than the last 17 and a half I did. Although I actually feel better after this 17 and a half, ironically. But yeah, I'm glad I made this half a mile side trip. Uh, yeah, half a mile side trip off the AT to come down to this campsite because it doesn't get much better than this. We're actually camping on the foundation of an old homestead. Just enough room here for two tents. Just got a fire pit overlooking the beautiful Burke's Garden. Man, is it gorgeous down there. Beautiful, beautiful. So, yep, we're going to call this place home tonight. And, uh, supposed to have clear weather tonight. We might cowboy camp. I don't know. But anyway, here we are. The end of day four. Good morning, Burke's Garden. Hell of a view to wake up to. Day number five. All right, just made it back to the AT. It's a half a mile climb up from the campsite. Got about uh, 16 point something today. Trying to get to the Helvies Mill shelter to stay out of the storms tonight. Looks like the uh, terrain isn't going to be quite as bad today as it was yesterday. Another day of 70 degree weather. Loving it.